Okay, folks, welcome to the uh, walkthrough on the Bear Gate, Bear Busters installation. Um, of course, you can see the front of the cabin, or the back of the cabin. And as I walk up, you can see the mat at the back door, and a little sign that tells you that there's an electric fence there. There's the power panel, and right next to it is the Bear Busters shocker. So it's an electric fence system commonly used for cattle and or livestock and you can see the little picture of the cattle there. Um, this is the slide switch. You slide it all the way over and turn it on. And you see the indicator lights. They blink a couple of times in order to tell you that the system is prepping. Once it finishes prep then the little green light on this side will come on and blink every time it shocks the line. If for some reason just the two red lights on this side come on, then something's not right with the wiring, and then you need to check all the wires. And so we'll walk around and kind of do a walkthrough. I'm going to turn it off. So here's the wires for the... Uh, kitchen windows. The top one is hot, the bottom one is ground. You can see here that they've got a pair of springs. They just unhook. You want to make sure the two of them do not contact each other and that's why they're nice and tight like that. Let's take a look at the back half loop. So there's the bathroom window. the big bedroom or back bedroom and this is the pair inside the two back bedroom windows and last but not least on the back side is the kitchen window and they're all very similarly done you can see the pair of springs attaching eyelets on the other side. Here on the front of the cabin, the three main windows have been done. And it's all one big string, so when we have to close or open, you unhook the wires after you've turned off the system and run them through the eyelets and just let them hang all the way at the other end. So I'd unhook it from this side here and I just feed it through this eyelet, this eyelet, and then I can just let it hang here until I've done taking the shutters off and putting the screens up and then I just run it back through the eyelets and hook it back on the last eyelet. You can see the wires coming up through the and connecting. And that's pretty much the way the system is laid out for use and hookup. So the mat itself is heavy and sturdy. You can see the wire here connected in the corner. And Matt was kind enough to put a loop of wire so that the mat can actually be slid away from the door a little ways if we want to. You can stand on the mat with the system on and it will not shock you unless you're in bare feet, in stocking feet, or you're wearing uh, very wet shoes of some sort. So it could be something like Crocs or thongs or whatever and if they're really wet and you're dripping wet and the system is on and you're standing on the mat you're going to get a shock. So it's best to either turn it off the system or make sure that when you don't, you know, you step across the mat, don't step on the mat. Um, but in regular shoes like tennis shoes, um, good weather or good leather bottom shoes or plastic shoes like Crocs or thongs or whatever, with the system on, you will not get shocked. Um, there's some static charge, but up here in the mountains, we're always getting a bit of static 
and you get shock from your sheets and shock from your clothes when you're taking them off and putting them on and that's about as much as you're really going to get. Um, this is the new cover for the outlet. You can see that the cover has to be a little bit bigger because of the little transformer that goes on and plugs in but it's still access to the switch for turning the lights on and off. One other thing is that there's also a ground bar. A new ground bar was installed in order to ground the system. You can see it there. And that allows that if a bear is standing on the ground and he touches the hot wire, he'll still get shocked. He doesn't have to touch both of the wires. Okay, I think that's about it for the bear system. And hope you enjoyed the video.